Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com. I want to tell you about something awesome. See this portfolio here? You can have a portfolio just like this tonight for free because this feature, it's called Adobe Portfolio, is included in your Creative Cloud subscription. So if you've got the Photoshop and Lightroom deal, a bundle for $9.99 a month, well, that's the U.S. price anyway, uh, if you've got that or the full Adobe Creative Cloud, you get Adobe Portfolio. It is a very cool uh, instant portfolio. All you had to do is pick a theme, upload your images, boom, it's ready to go, and it's pretty darn functional. I mean, it's like surprisingly good. Uh, click on a portfolio here, and you it shows your images full size, right? And so you can have all kinds of different categories and stuff. You can, uh, for example, you can add captions. I think I added captions to one of these down here. There you go. You can add a caption below your photos. You can restrict people downloading them by not letting right-click download the images. There's all kinds of cool stuff about it. And uh, it just... It really works really, really well. And what's amazing about it is how configurable it is. You have complete control over everything. And it's free. It's just free. Just go and get it. If you've already got the subscription, this is part of your plan. So here's how you do it. Go to myportfolio.com. Now, your address after that will be like this, scottkelby.myportfolio.com. But they even have a way for you to use your own domain for it. But if you don't, it's going to be your name at myportfolio.com. All right. So go here. Look at all the different layouts you can choose from. So you have these different layouts. And by the way, these look great on laptop. They look great on tablets and on phones. They're designed to be uh, responsive is the word you're looking for, <laughs> responsive. So you have all these different layouts. And once you build, I, I built one here, so we'll go to edit my portfolio. I've already, I showed you the one that we did. When you go to your editor, you wind up with this different little floating panel, and it allows you to control everything. It allows you to control the page background colors and these project covers, which image becomes the project cover, whether you want a logo or not. You can have navigation added on the side if you want to have your galleries here. And it just, just depends on the layout that you choose. And this is one of the cool things. You can change layouts anytime. So over here on the left, you can add content. So if you wanted to add another gallery, you can add galleries till the cows come home. You can manage your content. You can change the order of the images and stuff like that. You've got your settings, but down here, look, switch layouts. You can just go here and say, all right, let's try a different one. Let's try this one. And we'll restore, restore the original layout. There it is. And now you've got these giant blocks, right? A whole different look. Let me move this out of the way. When you move your cursor over it, it gives you the name of them, right? And if you decide you want to make these changes live, you just hit update live site and it's done. And it's just very, very easy and well thought out and smart how these things work. They just, it's all, there's so much customization. You can go in here with a little edit pen and edit your content, edit the info. If you want to edit the info, you can just change your text. But you also get control over all of the fonts and the sizes and the weights. And you get complete access to the Adobe Type Kit. But here's another big thing. Ready? When you go to import photos, like if you wanted to import more photos into a project, right? If you wanted to add more, one of the things you can get is, look, you can go right from your Creative Cloud account or, this is big, directly from Lightroom. You can take your images from Lightroom, go straight up to your portfolio, right from there. So it's just really, really well done. Uh, you have complete control over pretty much everything. I really haven't found anything I haven't been able that I haven't been able to do that I wanted to do, including like bringing in your logo and stuff. So you know, I had my logo on the previous one here. It's just text. I can change that font, or I can go back to the logo that I used here. None of it goes live until it says upload your live gallery. So it's just. I thought you guys should know about this because number one, even though I say it's kind of free, you are paying for it. It is included in your subscription. But if you don't know it's there, you wouldn't even get to use it. So here's the thing. Everybody's got to have a portfolio, right? This is the way to have yours in about 10 minutes. Just go to myportfolio.com, enter in your Adobe ID, and you'll have a portfolio 
about 10 or 15 minutes right after that. So I, I hope that you found that helpful. Hey guys, if you want to learn a whole bunch more stuff about Lightroom and Photoshop and photography and the Adobe applications in the Creative Cloud, go take the 10-day free trial over at Kelby One. Dot com. You can watch up to 10,000 different lessons that we have. You can watch them right now, immediately, and just start diving in on this stuff. All right, guys, thanks very much. I'm Scott Kelby for KelbyOne.com. Catch you guys later.